Believe me, sweetie, I got enough to feed the needy. No need to be greedy. I got mad friends with Benz to see notes by the layers. True fucking players. Um, Donald. Blowout. Surprising blowout for me. I'm picking heart. Uh, you know, I always thought that Dion Warwick sang that song. The uh, Say a Little Prayer. So after I watched um, Aretha Franklin, I mean, there's like three or four artists who have done that. And I think Dion was the originator. I think Dion Warwick was much better. Here's my issue with Aretha Franklin's version, or that uh, that particular video performance. The fucking backup singers were so loud. They were so loud. It's like it's like they were like singing over her. They they annoyed me. I don't know if it was just the setting, or if that version is always like that. I didn't like it. And don't get me wrong, Aretha Franklin's voice still sounded amazing. It was great to see her so young. Right? Didn't you submit? Was it you? Was it you or Jason that submitted the one when she was singing singing for the president? When she was much older. Hmm. I don't remember when he submitted that. But uh, it wasn't bad. But I think the, the, the background singers... They made it very sloppy to me. Uh, but that's it. It's definitely not a bad song, and I do like Dan Warwick's better. But, uh, and then listening to Heart after that, you know, the more I listen to old Heart, like 70s Heart, back in the day, I loved, like, uh, remember, like, the mid 80s when Heart got really big again with the big hair? What about love? That song and uh, how can I get you alone? That song, I love that stuff. Well, comparing those two now, like Barracuda and this one, and I feel like there was another heart submitted out recently. That was what's a uh, Wilson's Wilson Nancy Wilson? I don't know who's who. But, I mean, one of them, the brunette. What the fuck? What is that shit? Um, what a fucking voice. What a voice. Like, it sounded so good. And she's so damn cute, like, when she was young. Her eyes, she kind of looked a little bit like Joan Jett to me. Uh, so I really dug that performance. The guy in the drums with the drummer looked like the Amityville Horror dude. That's what I took from that. Uh, and, and here's the thing I also want to... Maybe Jim would know this. I think Jim would know better than any of us. What is it with... Does this still happen? Like when... When they're performing, like, bands... Like, what is it with the guitar players? When they're, like, shoulder to shoulder or back to back? It used to just be normal, but now I see it. Because I don't see it anymore. And it just... What is that? Why? Why do they do that? It looks kind of gay. What is that? I don't like it. But that performance was really, really, really good. And um, I definitely like old heart better than 80s heart now. So that's my pick. Uh, I'm trying to think if Don had a theme going here. Because they didn't really, like, the genres didn't really blunt, which is fine. A couple weeks ago, I was going to do a rap versus a, uh, a rock. Because I know, I feel like Jason definitely would pick the rap and Jim would, Jim would pick the rock. And then it would have been uh, up to down the side. Uh, so, I guess that's it for the videos. I'm guessing that was like, I didn't say 76 for heart. How old are those, those ladies? I'm thinking they're like mid 20s there. They must be like in their 70s now. And I forgot that Aretha Franklin died in 2018. Because I looked her up too. But definitely um, good songs on. And uh, one just sounded much better than the other to me. Going on, uh, well, Jim. 
Jim's story going on, which sucks, but I spoke with Jim this morning, hopefully he's getting out tomorrow. I mean, fingers crossed on that for sure. Uh, what else? Jeremy was home just to visit. Actually, he was home last week for Dad's birthday. Uh, he left yesterday, took him out. Jacob and Alex for breakfast the other day. Josh was working. So that was good. They went to Iron Kettle. Uh, I am off uh, this weekend. And I'm off Monday. So I'm really looking forward to that. I got, got some decent plans. Got a, a female that I am seeing, which... I'll tell you what. I don't want to give too much away. But Jay and Don... Oh, and Jim, I guess all of you. Yeah, yeah I got I gotta say now. Uh... Too much. Okay, so this girl was like, and it's not even like, it's not even serious, which is fucking great. It's not serious at all. Live and learn, I guess. Like, both went into this very um, open minded, and, you know, we just fucking see each other when we want. And I'll tell you what, I've never been with a female. I shouldn't sound like that, but it would suggest I've been with males. Never been with a girl that is, I hate to use this word, because it's not, it doesn't really fit. Remember, I would always say she's too skinny? Eh, too skinny. This fucking girl is unlike any girl I've been with physically. I've always liked thicker girls. And she's fucking uh, just stuck in the right spot. And, oh my god. She's just, she's great. And she's cool as fuck. And, uh, the best thing is, like, see you when I see you. So that's really cool. I think I'm going to see her Monday. Maybe, maybe Sunday. And that's the thing. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. And if we don't, who gives a fuck? So that's what's going on with me. And, um, uh, All-Star Games coming up. Uh, I thought I had to say something about Dad. Oh, I told Don this last week. Jim and, Jim and, um, Jim and Jason are going to either cringe or laugh or be both. I told this to Don in a text message. Last Saturday, Dad's actual birthday, when we all got together at 810 Wellesley, Linda DeProspero and Mike DeProspero came walking down the street. And they do they do it every night, like clockwork. Every fucking night, they walk those dogs. Mike's got a really nice looking... Is it a poodle? Like those big, tall dogs with the curly hair? Great looking dog. Lynn's got two pugs. Well, she stopped and talked to me and Jeremy and uh, Jake. Well, it was me, Jeremy, and Jacob at the time. Uh, she walked over and started talking to us. And of course, Mike. Mike's standing by the Quillo's house. Just, I used to like think he was weird, but I can relate so much to Mike now. He don't have shit to do with anybody. But he stood there waiting for his mom to talk. And uh, Dad, Dad comes out. And then he goes, happy birthday. And... Uh, and fucking dad. <laughs> but I don't know what the fuck. He lifted up his, his t-shirt. I felt like the mid-80s. Because I, I could picture dad doing that then. He lifted up his t-shirt. With his... Whatever. Like, all the way up. And started walking towards Linda. I mean... I don't think that would be appropriate with anyone. I think, guess back in the day, he did that with Marge or... Diane, you, people that he hung out with a lot. It would have still been like, what the fuck? But it was like, no, that, they're good friends. It was Linda. He walked up with his shirt up. He goes, I'll show you yours. If you sh- I'll sh- show you mine if, I sh- if you show me yours. And like, <laughs> and then mom walked out. It was like a, it was like it was scripted. Because then mom walked out. And she goes, he's never going to change. And uh, it was like so fucking weird. Dad still lives in the 70s and 80s. He really does. Um, and it just... And, and it flowed so well, is what I'm, what I'm want to say. It's like... It, it wasn't awkward for Linda, I feel like. Or Mom. Or, it was like, yeah, that's just who he is. But the look on Jeremy's face, because Jeremy was right there. 
was like, he did this. And, and then he just, then he looked at me and just started cracking up. It was right in front of Jeremy and Jacob. Like, I mean, he didn't show his dick, so I guess that's good. But it was fucking weird. Hold on a second. Hello, how are you? Good. Um, so I mean, that's my story for the week. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything I want to talk about with sports. Guess not. I mean, the, all, all right, thank you. You're welcome. Um, the Braves and Mets were a good series. I'm sure Jim was into that. And uh, all star games coming up. So I'll be, I'm always, I never like care about the all star game until the day of. I feel like that's still the best all star game of them all. Basketball was always pretty good, but now they don't even, it's just a dunk, a dunk fest, which is fine, but I, I like baseball the best. Uh, I guess that's it. I'm sure there's something I'm not talking about, but this video is probably taking too long. Anyways, you guys, Jim, I hope you uh, come home tomorrow. Uh, like I said, I'm really squeezing for that, especially since it was such a nice weekend. I know there's like a boat thing planned that you're running and a golf thing, so best of luck to you, bud. And uh, I guess that's it. My winner is Hart for sure, and we'll talk to you guys later. See ya.